new home sales plummeting in March by the largest amount in over a year. And home prices dropping sharply to hit their worst level in a decade. Can you believe that? When will the slide stop? Time to bring out our panel. Carol Roth is a best-selling author and business expert. Brooke Goldstein is the author of Lawfare, The War Against Free Speech. And Lee Carter is a partner at Maslansky Lunson Partners. I, do I have to say that ten times? I hope not. Carol, <laughs> well, Carol, let's start with you on housing. It's, a, it's abysmal. What do you make of it? Yeah, I think that any good news here, Jerry, gets balanced out by the bad news. It doesn't matter if there are low interest rates or depressed housing prices. If people can't get credit, if they don't have jobs, if they're underwater on their own mortgages, currently they're not going to be trading up. So I don't see any catalysts here for this getting better anytime soon because of all the bad news. Right. And with all the foreclosures, I, I just see this going on for months and possibly even years. Oh, my goodness. Brooke. I have to agree. It's just been depressing news after depressing news for the past six months. And even though we're reporting now that there's an increase in sales, it's only an increase, decrease, increase, decrease. And you see Compared pricing, to what, right? Right. Every month it changes. And it just shows us that people are buying because homeowners are just decreasing the prices. And that's not a sign of an economic recovery. Lee. What I'm seeing is a confirmation bias here. I mean, when we're out there talking to people, every time there's good news, they tell us stories of bad news. They tell us my neighbor is having a hard time selling their house. There's more for sale signs than ever. We see here is that that's just continuing, and people are really going to have more reasons to believe the bad news that's coming out. All right, we have to talk about Walmart. Big story, taking a $10 billion hit in the stock market after news of an ongoing bribery scandal in Mexico. Now, two Democratic lawmakers are what? Launching an investigation into the matter after claims the retail giant bribed Mexican officials for building permits to expand into the country. I think this is time where Walmart really has to step up to the plate. They've got to get out in front of this right now. They can't hide. We've got to see the language of leadership coming out. They've got to take a full assessment, take full responsibility, and respond with real meaningful actions, or this is really going to have an impact on the brand and the image. We have our own PR person here spinning, uh, telling them how to do it. But here is a story we are all at this round table deeply interested in. Women paying more for their credit cards than men do. Right. According to new research, women on average pay half a point higher interest rate on their cards. Does this make you mad? What's worse, the report shows women are more likely to carry a credit card balance, make only the minimum payment, and be charged for a late fee. Lee, let's start with you. You know what I see here, and one of the sad things about the study shows that women have an issue with financial literacy. And so what we've got to see is that, is that it's not just about being a woman. It's correlated to financial literacy. So we have a responsibility to make sure that people are more educated about their money. And financial services institutions just don't do this right. I'm just not sure that I buy that women are, are less informed than men. All right, if you don't use it, you lose it, at least in the Garden State. New Jersey will soon be requiring card sellers to obtain zip codes so it can claim gift cards that go unused after two years. Lee, this makes me crazy. It makes me crazy, too. I mean, what is this, gift card eminent domain? <laughs> you, you, like, if you use it, lose it. It's just unbelievable to me, and I think this is going to raise so many concerns for people. I mean, who is involved now in, in purchasing decisions? It, it, it just, it's unbelievable. And I think that we could have a messaging field day with, you know, what this law should be called. If you... Oh, I know. It's ridiculous. Carol, Brooke, and Lee, thanks so much. You did a great job tonight. Thank you.